Well, Ryan Schatzel had an onside kick last week against Lehigh. We'll kick this one off, and it'll be returned by the Raiders at the 10, at the 15 to the 20, finding a seam to the 25 and up to the 30-yard line for this Colgate team. It's going to be Jadon Henry. The, uh, two wide outs to his left, one to his right, and he'll go play action. Has a pocket, throws it. Man is there, and it'll be complete to Oki. As Oki, the... Leading receiver, you may be hearing that. <laughs> Here comes a pass by Brescia. He will throw it, and it'll be complete for near first down yardage as coming up to get it at the Buckdale 46-yard line is over 700 yards. Third and four, here's the snap. Here's a blitz. Brescia steps up. He'll be dropped for a loss. Sacked by Jackson all the way back to the Buckdale 45. Today here in central Pennsylvania. But they'll only converts 26% of the time. They're going to go deep down the near sideline to Owens. He tries to make an acrobatic catch at midfield. He'll move to the right of Brescia. Brescia will go with the deep handoff here to the wide side. Finding a seam is Henry. He will get eight or nine, maybe almost ten, as he'll take it up to the 49. Schlindorf will bring it. Second and one, Colgate, no score. Second offensive drive of this first quarter for the Raiders. Henry gets the inside handoff, and he makes one man miss, makes a second miss, and he'll take it for about down pass play. This is third and nine for Bucknell. Empty set now, pressure on. Quick pass out by Grady. It's going to be incomplete to his running back, Bennett. He was seven at the Buckdale, or at the Colgate nine. Here is Brescia to pass. Under pressure, steps up. Now he's going to tuck it in and run. Jamison hits him, and it takes three Bucknell defenders to finally push back. Illinois sophomore takes the snap. Has a pocket. Now he's under dress. He'll spin away. He'll break a tackle. Now he's going to take off against Bright. And he'll be dragged down from his shoulder pads by Bright. As he'll cross the top by Bucknell on a fourth and one. In his end zone, pressure on. And Pruitt will get a short kick, but a high kick that forces Pringle into a fair catch. Into the sun. He bobbles the ball, and Colgate has it at the corner. He comes through, gets uh, a little there close. There used to be a halo rule, remember? They, they took that out. I think they're out. talking about this one. There may be Bucknell's Pringle. Third and 13, Brescia going to pass. He'll swing one out right side. Bacher's in front of Herleman, but he'll just get back to the original line of scrimmage. It's first offensive series. Brown remains in there. He'll go with a stretch handoff. No, he'll fake the handoff, and he'll come streaking up the far side. He'll gain eight or nine, stepping out of bounds, short of the first down. Almost 90% run, which is why Colgate's selling out on it. Here's a third and eight pass play. Brown now is going to fake the pass. Stiff arm, man, he'll slide for a first down. Heads up play by the young. straight pistol formation. Behind Brown, here comes a run blitz. Here's a pass action. Throw over the middle. It's caught for Mullins. He will go past midfield. He'll take it to the Colgate 40. And the freshman completes the pass. Owens picked it right out of the sky. Another blitz. He'll be a fake pitch. Here is the freshman Brown darting his way into Colgate territory. On first and 10, he'll take it to the 47 year. Bucknell has converted the last two. Third and two. They'll go with the fake handoff. Here's Brown catching the corner. He'll complete three in a row as he'll be ushered out of bounds. And the Colgate defense was set. This screams of a draw, but we'll see. First and ten. It'll be a fake draw. He'll go with the pass. It'll be complete. It's down to the 25. It's Bennett down to the Colgate 15. He'll be freshman quarterback Brown. Here they come on a blitz. Brown will now take off and run. He has room. Down the 10. Down the 5. And there'll be a penalty down at the tackle at the 4. Another 2 or 3 penalty. Backer might have come up to play the run. Back-to-back -back penalties. Here comes a reverse. And Harris is going to be dragged down for a loss. Great job dragging down Damian. 26. Buckdale just wants to get in field goal range. Here is Grady, has a lot of time, could step up, but he'll throw a dart, and it'll be incomplete. Tending it for Gary over the middle at the 20, and he got wrapped of standing a lot of penalties by Bucknell. It'll be a jet sweep and a fake, and here comes Brescia breaking it free. He'll take it for five, he'll take it for six, and he gets twisted down by uh, the safety seat. Okay. Pickup of nine officially, second and one. Brescia goes with the inside handoff. No, he'll keep it around the end. He'll make a man miss. He'll get past Barnes, and he'll take it for 10 up to the 30-yard line. And then and seven. Brescia gets the snap, goes inside handoff to Henry. He'll break it outside. He'll just hide behind his block. He'll have first down yardage as Slindorf will bring him down 
He mm-hmm. stands. Now second and short. I think I try for the first. Here's a blitz and a handoff to Henry. No break it free. Down the near sideline. Saving a touchdown is Jackson. That looked like the quarterback for Lafayette. A little bit in the secondary and then went deep. Bucknell playing press coverage again. Here comes Brescia to throw. It's going to be caught. And will it be a first down? It's close at now, the 16. About a yard. Huddle. Bucknell stopped him earlier. And here comes Brescia. He'll just push the pile forward. And he'll get the first down on a quick snap. And he'll go inside the Bucknell. Now Oki in motion. It will be Brescia keeping it. And he'll bust it free for six. Touchdown, Colgate. Brescia goes right up the middle and rush fake to the jet sweep. And Colgate goes 91 yards on player of the week. Hit a 49-yarder, fifth longest. And, oh, and the big play, extra point is blocked. It's his first. In the half, Colgate scored first on a 91-yard, 16-play drive. Here's Bennett busting it outside. And he'll get seven, he'll get eight, and he'll angle his on way close to a first on a third and three. Brady stays in a quarterback, goes with the handoff. Bennett cuts it up, makes a man miss, fights for the sticks, and I think he has it. That last little slay clock. A lot of Colgate fans below us yelling for defense. Grady retreats, throws a high pass, and it's going to be incomplete. Would have been a very minimal gain. Oh, and then a flag is right. Two wideouts to the top of your screen, one to the left. There'll be a handoff to Bennett. He's going to bust it out free. He'll go five, he'll go six, and they'll be ushered out of bounds after a seven or eight yard gain up to the. Because bowling gets kids uh, out of the streets and in the alleys. <laughs> Here's a third down, and Bucknell goes with Danny Muser, and Muser is stopped short of the first. He's in before halftime. Third and ten. It will be a handoff by Brescia. He's going to take it off the far side, and he's going to get a first down. He handed it off and kept it. L at the same. And go down the middle of the field and take a shot. Here's Brescia to pass. He's going to throw. Man is there. It's going to be complete, but... It'll be short yardage, so Colgate's going to have to hurry twice so far this first half. He's going to pass again, throw it over the middle. Man is there, and it's going to be complete at the 45. Stops the clock momentarily, and will Colgate Bucknell 45. That was Ryan who caught that. I snap. Here comes Brescia, throws a long pass, and it's going to be caught out of bounds. The official missed that one as they'll say he was inbounds over there. But the Bucknell coaches were right there. Yeah, he lifted his feet up in the air. Five, here's Brescia. He's going to roll right, look downfield, throw. Man is there. It's almost intercepted. Very close to being picked off. But it's, he was very close to the sideline. Pickup of seven. And I think he just got his right before Coach Hunt. Second and four. Brescia to pass. Has all day. Throws it over the middle. And it's going to be incomplete. Bobbled. Oh, they're going to give it to him. Another give to the receiver. Runner pass. Sweeney on that last tackle for Colgate. Here comes a draw now for Brown. He's going to come up the middle and spin his way for a first down. He just went with the draw, kind of like what we saw Brescia come. He got to the edge quicker than he than the spy was able to get there. Here's a blitz, pass against it. It's going to be to the tight end, Kreinbrucker, but he was nowhere near the first down. Most of those third down conversions by the freshman Brown. This is third down and five, all out blitz. Picked up, Brescia has a man open. It's going to be caught for a first down up to the 42-yard line. Great job by Oak. He was on third and short. Now here is Brescia back to pass, throws a dart, and it's almost intercepted. Breaking on it was Smith trying to get his third straight game with a pick. Stepped in three at two at one, and Grady just got the snap off. He will go throw it over the middle. It's going to be tipped and almost intercepted. Tried to hit Bennett. Yards passing in the first half. We'll look to pass here. Nope. Yeah, it'll be a flea flicker. He'll go deep. Man is wide open. It's going to be caught inside the five. And dragging a tackler play as this will be the veteran DeSantis and Brescia stacked up again. And he'll be dragged backwards. No, they'll say touchdown. No, Buck, if I'm coaches for Bucknell, I ask for a review. And, and they're trying to quickly get the extra point on as Cope happened on the first one. We'll get this one right through the pipes. Good. And it's now 13-0 Colgate. 8-16 remaining in the against Georgetown. Leading 13-0, Brady back on. Grady, rather, and he'll throw this complete, only his second completion. Great job by Christian Tate, who got the start here. Up to the 41. Here's a blitz. It'll be a run by Baker, and he'll squeak free for a few yards, about five, maybe four, up to the 46-yard line. Dragged third and two. Bucknell was four of eight on third down, but that was with Brown. This will be a handoff, and Baker's going to get it. He'll slice off to his left, and... 
Rickle will take it down to the Colgate 40. It's on the play. Clock Buckdale already has had one delay of game. They'll get the snap off. Be a delay handoff to Brown, or Bennett rather, and Coleman makes one man miss and then gets bumped out of bounds. At the back. Off to the left side of the offensive lineman. He'll go with a pass here on third and short. Swing it out to Henry. Henry gets a nice block, but not a second one. He'll get planted by the free safety Jackson. At home, Andy Gurr Stadium next Saturday against Lafayette. Back to Bass's great. He'll throw it over the middle. And what a great catch by the tight end. Crime Bucker. It was thrown at his knees. He's at the Bison 48. Here comes another delay blitz. Grady throws the ball. Man is open, but he overthrows his intended receiver by about five yards. That's Grady Christian Tate, too. Got to know where the marker is. Here comes a blitz by Colgate. Bucknell will run against it, and there comes Bennett. He'll charge forward for a first and ten bison. Now conversion. This is a huge one right here late in the third. Grady to pass. Looks left. Throws left. Man is there. Coming back to the ball was Bucknell's Tate. But he couldn't. Fourth and four. Colgate's been stopped once. Here's a blitz. Grady has it picked up, throws it. It's going to be popped up in the air and incomplete, which actually benefits the Raiders about six yards. 13 nothing with the extra point by Bisco. He had one blocked in the first half. Here's a long, deep pass. Man for man with Pringle that time. And going up there and battling with it, and unable to come up with it was Ryan. Ryan has the Kreinbucker took for 22. This could be a delay handoff. Baker back out there. He'll sprint forward. He'll leap past the man at the Bucknell 36. He'll be down at the 40. That's only his sixth, fifth completion today. Handoff Bennett. Bennett goes outside, back inside. He will wind his way for a first down. What a run by the fr Florida Prime. Zip at the fourth period. Comes a blitz. Grady steps up, fires a deep ball. Man is there. He'll adjust. He'll swing his body in the left area and catch it. Damian Harris, the top Raiders. Grady, long count. We'll go with the handoff. Here is Baker again, but this time Colgate's D was waiting. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Eight, nine. Now, obviously, they'll go for it on fourth if they don't get it here. Grady rolls out to his right, throws it. Man is open. It's going to be caught. And I think Gary may have squeezed his way for a first down. He's going to be very incidental pick. Is the freshman in an empty set. Brown, he'll go right. He gets stacked up on third and goal. And he'll lose two yards back to the three. Uh, Grady now is a quarterback. And there is Muser. And he'll go with the handoff right. And Baker just dives in on the right side. And the Buckdale of Bison on the scoreboard. That was a big push off the right side. Actually, uh, Run. They had a good surge from the outside. Point after blocked against Lehigh. This one he'll angle to the goalpost to our left, and he just sneaks it in the far up right. And Buck, and I think has only carried the ball maybe once this half. Brescia gets the snap, looks to pass, throws it. It's going to be complete, man, wide open. And getting the first down is Hutchison. He caught that big pass of 40-plus yards to oh. Two of 11 right now in this part of the game here. Brescia rolls right, plants, has a man open, but he doesn't throw it. Now he'll throw it on his heels, coming back and almost intercepting with Schlendorf. As left of Grady with 10 on the play clock. Low snap, Grady digs it out. He'll step, he'll fire, and coming back to the ball is Owens. He'll pirouette, and he'll run up past the 40 of the 43. He'll be stuck. Plenty of time, no big rush. In fact, you don't want to leave much time for Colgate right. if you score. Be a run blitz, and Muser will run against it on second and 10. He'll pop it for about three, down to the high six. Colgate looks to blitz. Here they come. Grady throws, has a man, Owens. He's going up for it, and it's going to be incomplete as he was pushed in. Bre uh, quarterback has really beat him up in the running game. Brescia will keep it, and he'll fight for a first down as Buckdale tried to rip at the ball, and that may be the ball game. Third and 10, Oki in motion. Be a handoff up the middle. Hurleman, he gets hit, still driving. Now Pringle will drive him back along with Allen and Blake Leak and three deep. Not waiting to let anybody get behind him. Grady to pass, steps up, has room to run, but he'll throw and it'll be caught. And Harris will take it for a first down up to the 33 and stops Grady's the clock. No time. On third and 10. Grady steps up, throws it short, and it'll be caught short of the first down. Here's a lateral to Bennett. He'll throw it back. Now he'll throw it to Grady, and Grady is tackled now with no time by winning against Bucknell as the Raiders hold on to win their second one in the Patriot League. Bucknell will fall to one and three in the Patriot League. And one for James Singleton and Jay Hoffmeyer, along with Caleb Smith on camera. And Sam Dixon, our technical director.